Hi, and welcome to the Frog Pond School of Design, where we tell our architectural stories of sorts now and then. I'll bet that you always felt that architecture was pretty much devoid of uh, drama and intrigue. If that's the case, you probably never heard the story of Stanford White. Stanford White was a, uh, a prominent architect back around 1900 and he was a partner in the firm of McKim, Mead, and White. Now, McKim, Mead, and White was um, undoubtedly the leading firm in the country at that time. Uh, and uh, White was really generally considered to be uh, the creative genius of the firm. He had studied under Henry Hobson Richardson, and the firm did quite a few shingle-style homes um, that would have felt very much at home with you know, among those done by uh, Richardson himself. But they also did uh, neoclassical style buildings and uh, gained commissions for a lot of uh, very important buildings out east and, and across the country for that matter. And perhaps uh, White's most important design was for Madison Square Garden in New York. But White was also a socialite, and he uh, uh, enjoyed going to or attending parties and hosting parties, uh, very elaborate parties that were popular back then. And it was one such party, ironically, uh, on the roof of uh, his own Madison Square Garden, that White met his doom. You see, he had had an affair with a young showgirl named Evelyn Nesbitt. And by this time, uh, Nesbitt was married to a fellow named Harry Thaw. Unfortunately, at least for Sanford White, Harry Thaw kind of had a problem with his mental stability. Um, and knowing of the previous uh, relationship between his wife and Sanford White, he, uh, he approached White one evening at this party in uh, 1906. Uh, right there atop White's opus magnum. <laughs> he walked up to White and he said something to the effect of, You have ruined my wife! And he shot White dead. Now, it took the partygoers, the other partygoers, a while to realize that something really had happened because it wasn't unusual for things like this to be staged at parties. But this was a very real event, and Stanford White really was dead. So that's the story of Stanford White. Now, I can't really recommend further reading on this particular topic, uh, but you may want to learn more about neoclassicism, uh, even as it reached its zenith a few years prior to this at the Columbian Exposition in Chicago. Uh, in fact, a great deal was happening in architecture at that time. It was a very pivotal time. And uh, it, it's always good to learn a little bit more about what's going on at, at times like that. Uh, you can read more about that on your own. Thanks for joining us here at the Frog Pond School of Design. I look forward to seeing you hanging around the pond again real soon.